As many as 21,000 people in Washington rely on court-appointed guardians to make important decisions. But tonight, some families, even state lawmakers, say there are some big problems with the system. It's a story we first told you about on Tuesday, and then calls and emails poured in from other families who have had similar experiences. Amy Allen has the latest developments. <laughs> Thousands of seniors across the state rely on them to make decisions, pay their bills, and manage their health care. But some Washington families and even lawmakers say there are big problems with the state's guardian system. I think this is striking a chord in Washington state that has to be addressed. 95-year-old Eleanor Barrick keeps receiving shutoff and cancellation notices from utilities and insurance companies. Friends say it's because her guardian hasn't paid the bills. I explained to her what had to be done. I said, this is the safety issue. Get it taken care of right away. And she said, no problem. I'm taking over her accounts and everything else. I'll get it paid within the next few days. It never got paid. From what I was told. The Strake family says some of their relatives have been completely cut off from visiting their 88-year-old mother after they complained about her guardian. It's as if, as if my mom is in a prison. In fact, I would argue a person has more rights to pick up a phone and have a conversation. In both cases, there were allegations of financial exploitation against people close to these women. But these family members say they don't want control of her assets. They just want to visit her. She grabbed my arm so tight and begged me and was crying and just begged and begged me to come see her room. She said there's nothing in her room. And um, I cried with her. And... They asked me to leave, and I had to leave. Tim Striga says it's gotten so bad, his mother wasn't allowed to attend her own granddaughter's wedding. Last Saturday, he took the photos to the nursing home where she lives. They looked at the uh, photos. They made a phone call to an unidentified person and then told me I was not permitted to allow my mom to see Rachel's wedding pictures. State Senator Jim Casima looked into the Guardian program after hearing complaints and introduced legislation to try and address some of the problems and warn people about the pitfalls. They, I think, believe they're going to, going to have a cooperative relationship because that's what they're there for. They want to look after their loved ones. But then they find that it ends up being a very adversarial relationship. The state says the Guardians are monitored by a review board. Castama says there appears to be a conflict of interest there. I think that there's not enough scrutiny to it. I think that the task force that I looked at that examined the system primarily had judges and attorneys on it. With the state so mired in budget problems, Castama says it's unlikely they'll get guardian reforms past this session. But after seeing cases like Eleanor and Geraldine, he plans to reintroduce it next year if that's what it takes to make changes. Amy Allen, Q13. Fox News.